Good evening, I'm Mike. And I'm Steve. And this is a continuation of reading The Adventures of the Bailey School Kids, Knights Don't Teach Piano by Debbie Dady and Marsha Thornton Jones. Tell me, have you ever been taught piano by a knight? That's your evidence right there. You have never been taught piano by a knight. <laughs> Therefore, no. knights don't teach piano. <clears throat> Chapter 10, Jousting. The time has come, Lance said in a booming voice. Excuse me. The time has come, Lance said in a booming voice. The kids peeked from behind the tree. Lance pointed to one of the men who had a blue ribbon tied around his arm. Tomorrow we ride into Bailey City Park and take Bailey City. I guess their claims were right. They were right. They were right this whole time. <laughs> well, good for them. I think that uh, real detective circumstantial evidence really proved. Uh, Really, really proved, uh, correct in this particular instance. Judge people based off of, uh, <laughs> first, first, first impressions and first small impressions details that, found around their homes. That's it. When you're snooping around. <laughs> uh, Melody grabbed Liza's arms. It's the map! Wait, Lance said as he held it's up a wrinkled map. paper. It's, it's the, the map. map. It's the map. It's the map, a map, a map. It's the map. I have planned our every move on this map, Lance told the other knights. The knight wearing the blue ribbon urged his white horse one step closer to Lance. We're tired of your plans, the knight said. The time to act is now, another knight said. Bailey City is my city, the man with the blue ribbon cried and held his weapon high in the air. I will defend her until the end. This is tension. Oh. <laughs> uh, then I will have to stop you and whoever stands with you, Lance said. The knight with the blue ribbon placed his hand over his heart. I am Simon of Bailey City. <laughs> I, <laughs> Simon. I'm Simon. I'm Sir Lancelot. I'm Sir Simon. Here's Sir, beep, boop. Sir Theodore. Beep, boop, beep. Sir Alvin. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> I see that's Simon. The, the, Simon. The, 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 the quad colored uh, memory game. For those of you who. You, you Google it. N nostalgic. Toys R Us. Then I will have to stop you and whoever stands with you, Lance said. The knight with the blue ribbon. I, oh, right. I am Simon of Bailey City. I stand for justice. Whoever stands with me will wear my colors. Two men rode their horses next to Simon and tied blue ribbons around their <laughs> arms. Let the battle begin, Lance shouted. What, they ran, they, they like galloped like two feet from the They're like, front. all right, we left my house. Let's fight. I love how this battle for an entire city is taking place between uh, two teams of three. Two teams of three. Two teams of like three. On his, so basically, on his lawn. only three people are interested in uh, saving Bailey City from uh, this group of uh, pillaging, plundering, uh, corrupt, uh, rogue knights. Uh, and then once those three are dead, then these three knights, apparently the rest of the city is just going to roll over totally, and be like, totally well, three knights you said that they knights. ran it now. Uh, three knights, one mayor, who are we going to listen to? The police have absolutely no power over this. no power over over knights. Uh, you know, knights who were knighted in England uh, and Bailey City, I assume, is in the United States. This is all very confusing to me. It's, it's, I don't understand local political procedure, so uh, don't, don't bring in that to a gunfight. But they got joust, jou jou jousting, jousting equipment, jousting, <laughs> whatever it is. The j let the battle begin! Lance <laughs> shouted. The men quickly lined up their horses up. Lance and two knights faced the three blue ribbon knights. Their horses thundered forward until they were so close the knights could whack each other with their weapons. <laughs> Ow! I shall own Daily City! <laughs> I shall save it of you! <clears throat> the what are they doing, Liza whispered? <laughs> it's called jousting, how he whispered back. That's how they used to determine uh back in the medieval times. Uh whenever they wanted to determine who was who was king, they would they would joust. That's what they do. These big battles you've seen, movies of King Arthur, no, that's not how it worked, really. It was they just, just It was just the shit they did at the fair that determined it. That would be like today if they determined It's uh, a whole weekend long who, event. who the mayor was based on, you know, shooting the teeth out of a clown's mouth. <laughs> or 
or shooting water into a clown's mouth and inflating the the balloon above its head until it pops. Yes, that's that. You're the mayor now. <laughs> what? No. <Nah. laughs> Nine-year-old kid. Yeah, uh, you know, we're determining the next president based on who performs the best in uh, the annual tractor pull. Clinton. Clinton, she's the best at tractor pulling. We have Operation. <laughs> oh, he's out of the race. It's called jousting, Howie whispered back. Eddie gulped. Uh, I always get confused with who's Howie and Eddie, because how like so Eddie's like the asshole kid, right? Yeah, and, and he's got, kind of he's got a side, he's got the the backwards baseball cap, as you know, in the '90s, every cool tough as nails kid wore a purple baseball hat backwards, just like the kid from Recess, just like uh, what's his uh, name in Wally Bear and the No Gang. Who are you thinking of? In uh, Magic School Bus, who wears the hat? Magic School Bus? B BJ, or whatever the hell his name is. But yes, the main TJ, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, yeah he's got the backwards he's got hat. The hat. However, Howie... He's got the tood. Howie, to me, sounds like an asshole 90s kid name. Eddie does, too, but so does Howie. They both do, so that's why I'm getting confused. But he's more the passive guy, I suppose. Right, no, yeah, no, look at him. And Melody is kind of like... The girl with the sass, and then, uh, what's her face is kind of the <laughs> passive. <laughs> in my school, in my in old my school, in my old school. school. Uh, what are they doing? Liza whispered. It's called jousting. How he whispered back. Eddie gulped. I think it's called trying to kill each other. Oh. Well, that was Carlos. Kind of, that was, <laughs> yeah, Carlos. <laughs> Whack slam! Whack slam! The men battled dangerously close to the kid's hiding place. Liza closed her eyes and grabbed Melody's arm. If they find us, Melody whispered, we're dead! Eddie motioned for everyone to run. Liza started to run, but Howie was too busy watching the knight's joust. <laughs> Oomph! Liza <laughs> tripped into Howie and knocked him down. Howie sat right on the remote control of his race car. Simon, <laughs> Simon pulled to a stop so suddenly his horse reared up. What is this? Simon demanded. That was his voice, right? What is this? What like is this? Like a fucking G.I. Joe. Simon demanded as Come Howie's on. car raced straight onto the battlefield. Oh, what's going to happen, did. boys and girls? What's going to happen, boys and girls, tomorrow night when we continue reading The Adventures of the Bailey School Kids Nice Don't Teach Piano by Debbie Davey and Marsha Thornton the Jones. Thickens. Good night, Steve. Good night, Mike.